So what we will do in class is we will think about problems, static problems. And, and what we will do is basically cover something like 10 types of problems. They will give you a big perspective on types of problems that you can uh, use this type of structure. And then we are going to ask, well, what is the decision? What is it that I control? What is my objective? And what are the constraints? And we are going to put it in a form like that, right? Where here is the objective, these are the decision variables, and those are the constraints. When we do it like that, and the formulations are linear, I'll show you what linear means, then we call this problem a linear program. So even though we came, so let me just recap. Even though we are talking about mental models or mapping of the world around us and how the mental models influence decisions, right? X1, X2, and so on. In particular, in this class, what we will do is we're going to talk about a specific um, framework that we say we only take the decisions, those things that we control. We um, talk about a, an objective, one single one, maximize or minimize something, and then we think about which constraints influence my decisions. So here's a transportation challenge that some years of the, um, you know, during rainy season, during the monsoons, some of the roads are blocked. You know, you can't really go through them. That's a challenge. That's a transportation <laughs> challenge. I would translate them into this program as a constraint. How is the constraint? Well, let us say that we would, we would do the following. We would map, you know, we would uh, uh, basically do uh, an inventory of all of the roads in my system. So now, my system here was the Somali region of Ethiopia, mainly, right? And I do an inventory of all of the roads from um, uh, origin to destination, any origin to uh, any destination. And there are lots of combinations of those, right? You know, one for each uh, possible pair of nodes, pair of cities in between. And then we are going to do the following. We're going to say that if I can go from uh, an origin to a destination, example, from Djibouti to, to um, uh, Addis Ababa, for example, if we can go from one to the other, we am, I'm going to assign it a value of one. One means good, okay, works. And if I cannot go because it's monsoon season and uh, the road has basically these uh, big lakes in between or it's, it's impossible to go through lots of mud, I'm going to assign a value of zero, not good. I can't go through, you know, zero cargo can go there. Okay? And I do an inventory of all of the roads, then it's my constraint. So you may ask, well, how come? How come this truck here can go more to Addis Ababa than he goes to Vareta? Well, and then it might actually be that the road quality or the road access has something to say about it. Or it might be lack of security. And that's why by taking all of these into consideration and putting minimum thresholds for operations, we can get to a decision where we take into consideration all of the things that are important.